Based on a singular set of data from the website Redfin, I want you to tell me which of the following statements are true. A, 2022 median sale price for homes ended at 1.3% year over year. B, median home prices were 10% higher than in 2021. Or C, in 2022, median home prices fell 11% from their peak. Pause the video and tell me which one you think is true. If you answered D, all of the above, you would be right. And this, my friends, is why the housing market is a damn lie. Hello and welcome back to Lean on Success, where process improvement is self-improvement. My name's Ben, I'm a Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt, and today we're gonna do episode two in our Lies, Damn Lies, and Statistics series, where we expose ways as savvy analysts manipulate data to fit their narrative and to show you how to not be fooled by them. But before we jump in, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. This is a graph of the numbers I extrapolated from Redfin. The lighter line on the bottom is median home prices in 2021. The top line is from 2022. If you zero in on the home prices in December of each year, you will see that in December of 22, the sales price was 1.3% higher than it was in December of 21. Here's the same graph, this time with the yearly median of home prices for 2021 and 2022 shown as dotted lines. As you can see, the yearly median price was about 10% higher in 2022 than it was across 2021. Here's the same graph, this time with an arrow showing the general trend of 2022 home prices from June to December. As you can see, home sales prices have fallen about 11% from their summer peak. So what does all of this mean? Is everyone that makes graphs or quotes data just a huge liar? Well, not necessarily. What it does mean is that whenever there are quoted statistics that reference average and or median, or if they reference time-based references, like year over year, month over month, week over week, etc., in order for you to get proper context from the data, remember one thing, you need both the graph and the math. Back to my original question. I just proved that while all three of these statements seem to contradict each other, you could manipulate the context of the words to make all of them true. However, once you look at the graph, the context becomes much clearer. Sure, prices went up a lot in 2022 as compared to 2021 overall, but the person who bought their home in May of 22 felt that gap a lot more strongly than someone who bought in December. Did you find any of this interesting? Did I get something terribly wrong? Did I completely bore you to death? Let me know down in the comments and please share this video with your friends. Until next time.